he who buys what he does not need steals from himself book name bachat hi aapki asli aay hai your saving is your true income the world has witnessed enough and more examples of instances where not keeping checks on spending adding on loans avoiding timely repayments and exponential differences in expenditure and income have resulted in the downfall of renowned personalities within no time a wrong path if followed for long will lead to difficulties relying upon a loan or credit card or any form of a debt instrument to finance a status symbol or a lifestyle is never a smart option as it negatively affects anyone's ability to reach the financial goal in the future the one who is always asking for loans is exceptionally short sighted and sees only the immediate pleasure and fails to analyze the future risks inherent to instant gratification pandit shri ram sharma acharya has given a simple formula in the book to prioritize your expenditure on a need basis there should be a mutual agreement on the collective household expenses in any family structure and the key is to have everyone on board and prioritize as per the criticality necessities which can be like food clothing or house one should seek a long term solution for these and of course along with the education of children the most important part is to follow one of pandit shri ram sharma's ideas which also synchronizes with one of the wealthiest humans in the world Warren Buffett wisely spend what is left after saving and not the other way round of saving what is left after spending the idea of this book is not to suggest a best saving plan or a better mutual fund scheme but to give us examples from the past that shows how famous personalities have also suffered the vicious circle of bad debts and loans the book aims to align us by making us rethink on the concept of income and expenditure and following a course correction if required because a stitch in time saves nine few excerpts from the book Mark Twain the pen name of Samuel Clemens was one of the highest ranked and paid authors of the 19th century he was a great author but an incompetent businessman and was losing money faster than he could earn it Abraham Lincoln 16th president of the USA had also suffered bad loans and debts because his partner was addicted to alcohol drugs and other ill habits a human not only suffers physically due to such practices but it is also the character that takes a blow and makes them untrustworthy being an honest and hard working human lincoln repaid all the loans after toiling and moiling his days and nights and saving every penny he could he was delighted and since then was very calculative in his expenditure socrates upon drinking the bowl of poison which was his punishment for having philosophical differences about religion and administration was not able to die peacefully In his last words to Crito he said I have mental burden which is not allowing me to die in peace we owe a rooster to Asclepius please do not forget to repay the debt such is the trauma of bad debt or loans on your mind few instances stories covered in the book financial tragedies of famous personalities 
spend thrifts have a special rang reserved in hell a lord under the burden of loans from a fashion icon to behind bars a cancelled marriage due to unwarranted expenditures abraham lincoln's shirts were on sale to repay the debts 